Sanchez. And more, and more, and more. Let's get uh, all this great, this next act we're very excited about. Gonna do some poetry or some writing and we're excited to see what kind of bag. Is there gonna be a bag? Is it gonna be big? Give it up for Gwen Burden. Hi. How do you make it a little bit low? How do you do it? <laughs> Hi. Um, thank you for staying uh, to see me. I hope this works. I'm not drunk. So, um, so there's sometimes you know I've come here. This is my this is like my four, fifth or sixth time to come here, and it's my fourth time performing. Anyway, um. Sometimes I see people come up here with backpacks on or, you know, tote bags. And I wonder why. You know why? I get, you know, you could put it down on the stage, right near your feet. Um, so I wanted to find out. What it was like. Here's how to get exactly what you're craving delivered in four easy steps. <laughs> this is my poem. Um, it's it's about my friend who didn't come to see me tonight, Eli. He's he's, he's like my roommate, kind of like son kind of guy, and he didn't come. Fucking Eli, and he was gonna do drums behind me. Anyway, okay. No drums. He's well. He, you know, he asks me for drugs all the time, and I tell him no. I tell him no, Eli. That's bad. Take it from me. Anyway, uh, so yes, <clears throat> this is a poem for the fact that Eli didn't come. And the fact that I wanted him to come and do stand-up comedy. Because he would be good at it. Unlike most people, except for the other people that did it tonight. <laughs> Alright, so then this is the start of the poem. And it's as yet untitled. But thank you for all those that I forced to stay to, to hear. Okay, so it's dedicated to you. And the fact of wearing bags on stage. For no reason at all, except just to feel the weight. <laughs> of it all. Okay. <clears throat> this is really the start. Okay. <laughs> Stand-up comedy. Easy peasy. Making jokes. Poetry is fine. <sighs> Listing things. By the way, I, I actually wrote this book. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you just list a bunch of stuff. 
robot that smokes cigarettes. A mannequin that you can feed, but who also does eat ravenously. Also, sex dolls and or feral children. Quote, Jeannie's father reached adulthood, end quote. I'm able to seize some of what they're doing. Struggling to sound out words. If only what if only you could see my handwriting. Writing to the prompt, writing prompts, soliciting them. This is yeah. Try not to prop up the prompter. Will Jason Trachtenberg hear this and become my new dad? I still need one. What about Oliver Bear? Is he still here? <laughs> He's on Facebook. Tell him to sign up with Instagram. <laughs> Using spray bottles during droughts and hating helping the clown by waving tinfoil, you can use trees to understand things like falling in love. Wake up! <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> to become a better laugher or to know what laughing is to become a better audience member don't fall asleep again <laughs> come on <laughs> to proposition pressure with a laugh in terms of what I'm saying, Eli keeps complaining and <laughs> keeping secrets. And like, I'm really not saying this to be mean, no offense, but we can move on from this topic. <laughs> I forgot about it. <laughs> All right. Also, you know, I still don't, I'm not sure about the bag. Anyway, uh, resuming, hypochondria is cute, but not when your baby daddy has it. Work as work, as a Freudian slip. Daily affirmations, hinge words, neologism, neologism, how to pronounce? Pinstripe everything. Everything pinstripe. Real professional. How do we respond and even argue? Give me the TLDR. I still have Sam Hyde's phone number. Also, undiagnosed genetic mutations. Have you seen my ear? If you. If you want to follow me on Instagram, don't. Weird, why would you do that? Or, <laughs> okay, thank you.